Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this pros and cons table for your website. Now this can be useful for a website which has a lot of reviews on different gadgets or different services. Alright, so this is the desktop version of uh, this pros and cons table and it is also responsive. So if I bring up the mobile version, this is how it will look on a mobile version. We can see it has a different layout. The pros are at the top and the cons are at the bottom. And in the desktop version, we have both side by side. And we also have a maximum width for this. So it won't go beyond this width, even if the page is larger. We'll be designing this all from scratch using HTML and CSS. And then I'll also show you how to add this to your blogger and WordPress websites. So let's get started. <laughs> Here I am in VS Code and uh, I have opened up this blank project called pros and cons. So let me just create a new file and I will just name it index.html and I will also create a file for the CSS. Right, we have these two files over here. Let's start with the index.html file and uh, in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you will get this basic HTML5 code. And here we'll also add the link of our style.css file. So here in the href we'll type style.css. Right in the body we will start with the markup. Now we'll start by creating a division which contains everything. So we'll give it a class of pros and cons container. Or we'll just type pros cons container. And in that we will have two divisions, one for pros container and one for cons container. So let's create a division with a class of pros container and the other division with a class of cons container. And in each of these divisions we need to have a heading. So this is the heading and in that we need to have this list of pros or cons. So let's create an h2 and we'll give it a class of heading and here we'll type pros and in the cons container we'll have an h2 with the class of heading and here we'll type cons right now let's add an unordered list so here we'll type ul and for this we'll give a class of pros so these are the actual pros so we'll type list item and we'll add all these pros over here in our uh, html i just speed up the process Alright, so we have added all the pros. Let's open this in our browser. I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server. And this is how our pros and cons table looks. We have all the pros over here and let's also add the cons. So you will create a UL with a class of cons. And uh, let me just add all the cons real quick. Right, so I have added the cons and the pros. This is how it looks. So let's go to style.css and uh, we'll start with the styling of the pros cons container. So we'll type pros cons container. And uh, first of all, we will give it a font family of Roboto. Now I have the font family applied over here in my web page, but if you don't have it installed on your system, then it won't be applied. So first of all, you have to add the link of the Google fonts in your uh, HTML file. So let's do that first. I have opened up Google fonts and uh, this is the Roboto font. Let's click on that. And let's add two styles from here, the regular one and also the bold one. So this is the link that we can use in our HTML. Let me just copy this and uh, let's paste it in our HTML. So I'll just paste it over here. All right, now let's continue with our styling. The next thing we'll do is uh, we'll set the display to flex so that uh, this section which is the pros container will be on the left and the cons container will be on the right. So we'll type display of flex. And uh, then we'll set the maximum width to 700 pixels. And uh, let's set a background color and see how it looks right now. Now if we maximize the window, 
we can see we have a maximum width of 700 pixels now we'll also set it to the center so here we'll type margin and for top and bottom we will type 32 pixels and for left and right we'll type auto so now we can see that it is centered right now let me remove this background color and uh, let's add a box shadow so we'll type box shadow and we'll set a box shadow of 0 4 pixels 16 pixels negative 4 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 Right, now the next thing we style is uh, the heading now for both of the headings we have the same class which is uh, heading so let's target that so here we'll type pros cons container heading and uh, we will set the font size to 20 pixels and then we'll text align it to the center here we can see that for this heading we have a different background color and for this one we have a different background color so we have to target both of them separately so here we will type pros cons container and if you go to the HTML we have set the class to pros container for the pros and cons container for the cons so we can target them separately so here we will type pros container and heading for the pros container heading we will have a background color of 02C39A now let me just copy this and paste it once more over here for the cons container heading so here we will change it to cons container and for this one we have a color of E63946 and for both of these we have the font color as white so here in the heading we will give the color of the text to FFF and now we can see that we have this margin over here on the top so we will set the margin to 0 and we will also add some padding so we will set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right now here we can see that we don't have the full width for both the pros and the cons so it is just adjusted according to the content but we want to have the full width of the container so for that in flexbox you have this option called flex and you can set the flex according to your needs so if I set the flex of this container to 1 and even this container to 1 then both of these will have the same amount of width and if I set this one to 1 and this one to 2 then this will have twice the width as the first one so let me just add that and then you will be able to understand so here we will target both of these divisions pros container and cons container so this is the pros container and uh, this is the cons container so here we will type pros cons container pros container and we will set the flex to 1 now we can see that this takes the maximum amount of width it can but we will also set the flex of 1 to the cons container as well so here I'll just add a comma and type pros cons container cons container and now we can see both of these have the equal amount of width now we'll also add a right border to the pros container so here we can see we have this line so we'll type pros cons container pros container and we'll set a border right of one pixel solid light gray so now we can see this border right here but this line is cutting through the heading as well we wanted to have just for the pros so here we'll just change this to pros and we can see inside pros container we have this ul with a class of pros so now we can see we have this border right just for the pros all right now let's style the unordered list so here we'll type pros cons container ul and uh, we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels and 0 and we'll also set the list style to none so that we don't have the bullets anymore and we'll also set a margin of 0 now let's style the allies so we'll type pros cons container ul li and for this we will give a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll also set a line height of 2 
because if you were to have multiple lines of pros or cons we have the line height set correctly right now we are almost done now the next thing we need to do is we need to add these icons the tick icon and the close icon so for that we'll be using font awesome icons so first of all let's grab the font awesome cdn just search for font awesome 5 cdn and you'll find this uh, website cdnjs.com and you can just copy this link from here which is all.min.css and just copy that to the html so i'll just paste that over here and we also need to know what is the code for the specific icons so we will open the font awesome website as well so just search for font awesome 5 icons and you'll find this website and here we'll search for the icons the first one is tick here we can see all the results for tick we want to have this icon so let's click on that and uh, this is the code to add it to the HTML but we want to add it to our CSS so here we can see in our CSS we can add a before element to all the allies and then we can add this icon to all the list items at once so we'll target all the list items of pros container so here we'll type pros cons container pros container ul li and uh, then we have to add the before selector for this so we'll type colon colon before now what we can do with the before selector is that we can add any symbol or any text or any content before our uh, list items so let me just show you an example i'll just type content and i'll type hi and now we can see before every list item inside the pros container we have hi displayed over here now we'll just replace hi with the tick now to use font awesome inside css you have to use this code right here so let's copy this from here f00c and uh, here instead of content we will type backward slash and uh, we'll type the code right here but right now the icon is not being shown over here because we have to set the font family to font awesome and we also have to set the font weight so we'll type font family and the font family should be set to font awesome 5 free and we'll also set the font weight to bold now let's save this and now we can see the tick symbol is being displayed over here we'll also add a padding right of 16 pixels and we'll also set the color of the text to 02c39a now there's one problem we have with this if we have a long sentence for the pros or the cons so let me just add some more text over here and now we can see the next line is being displayed below the tick symbol so it doesn't look nice we want to start it from here but it is just going all the way to the left so for that we have to change the display of the before selector to block so here we'll type display block now when we set the display to block everything has its own different lines so this tick has this one line for itself now to counter that we will add the display of flex to the list items so we'll set the display of flex to all of the list items so let's scroll down and uh, here we have the list items so we'll set the display to flex over here and now you can see we have the correct spacing even if we have a longer line over here in the pros or the cons everything will be displayed correctly all right so let me just delete this all right now the next thing is really simple we have to just copy this uh, before selector from here and i'll just paste it for the cons container so i'll type cons over here now for the list items in the cons container we need to have a different icon so let's search for that and here we'll just type close and we have this symbol over here let's select that and this is the code for the close symbol let's copy that and paste it over here and now we have the close symbol for all the cones let's also change the color of uh, the close icons so we'll change this to this red color right here all right so that's it with the css for the pros and cons table for the desktop version let's also add styles for the mobile version so let me just make the window smaller and uh, we will add a media query and we'll set it to media max width of 530 pixels 
So if the width of the window is less than 530 pixels, all the styles inside this block will be applied. So we'll simply set the flex direction to column of the pros cons container. So he will type flex direction to column. And now we can see everything is tagged one below the other. And if you go to the original design, we can see that we also have this uh, different background color for each of the alternate list items. So for that, we will just add a selector over here. We'll type pros cons container UL LI and here we'll type nth of type and here we can add different values. So for this, we will type 2n. Now this will select all the even list items inside this. So it will select the second one, the fourth one, the sixth, eighth and so on. So here we'll just simply set a background color of light gray. So that's how you design a pros and cons table for your website. You can just go ahead and uh, replace these with your pros and cons. And if you want to add new pros or cons, you can just copy this list item and then add your pros or cons over here. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. And uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.